Ladies. I'm your girl Ray and we're back to talk about another topic. I'm glad everybody tuned in and the topic for this show is are we in revelations? I mean these times are just I don't know. I mean because I read Revelations 13 you know chapter 16, 17, and 18 and you know what's going on today and what's in them chapters? They sound kind of close. I mean, I, they sound kind of close. We got a pandemic out here, you know, AKA COVID-19 coronavirus. Then it spin off to another one. What's the other one? The Omariana, Omericron, one of them two. It's, it's a whole nother one out here. Then we got vaccines out here. The Pfizer vaccine, Johnson Johnson vaccine. The Moderna vaccine. How do you know which vaccine to get? How do you know which one to take? Is it based on call? Is it based on your blood type? Does your blood type have anything to do with these different vaccines? Did you get your booster shot? Well, these are just things that are going on. You know, sound like end time. You know, like a weird revelation. Is this just what it sounds like to me? I'm no expert, but that's just what it sounds like to me. Um, we got people losing their job. We got people losing their job because they don't want to get the shot. We got all, we got families dividing down the middle because this side of the family went and got the shot. This side of the family over here don't think they should get the shot. Divide and conquer. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Mm -hmm. Revelations. Are we in Revelations? The lies and the deceit. You cannot believe the news. The lies and deceit that's coming from the news media is something else. I mean, did you guys hear that they gave, I don't know, it was about 20 something kids an adult vaccine, made them all, they all had bad reactions? Did you hear that the hospital wanted the nurse to come to work even if they had COVID-19? Like, do you want somebody that got COVID-19 working on your loved one in the hospital? The flu been around forever today, and we all just stay at home, keep yourself liquid, you know, and it's gonna pay. Why come with this thing? The whole entire world gotta get a shot. Just everybody gotta get a shot. You gotta get a shot, you gotta get a shot, you gotta get a shot. What they do? You can't come in here if you ain't got the shot. Anybody heard that? You can't come here if you ain't got the shot. Oh no, you can't go over there if you ain't got the shot. Got to wear a mask. All that sounds a bit like revelation. I don't know. Maybe you haven't read, but I would suggest take a gander over there and read Revelations. You want to read Revelations 13, verse 16, 17, and 18. You want to read Revelations 14, 1, all the way through 5. Revelations 2 and 11. All of these scriptures might give you a little something to think about, about what's going on today. I don't know. You ain't going to be able to come in here and buy nothing if you ain't got a shot. You ain't going to be able to sell nothing if you ain't got a shot. You ain't going to be able to do no banking if you don't have a shot. What that sound like to you? My heart goes out to any and every human person who has lost a family member to this death disease, the coronavirus. But do I think that this is something that just flew out the air and got out of control? No, I do not. I think it's man-made. You have a lot of people in this world who think they are above, above me, above you. And they think it's too many people in the world. So I don't know. It's just me thinking. Some type of deadly disease that can eliminate thousands, but some thousands, thousands of people. I don't know. Might be in the benefit of certain elect group of people. Not saying you and me, but you know, just certain people might benefit from it. At the end of the day, something to think about. Let's just say this was the end of time. Like this was just the end. You know, Jesus is on his way back. This is just the end. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Like, are you sure Without a shadow of a doubt, you, your mother, your father, your children, your kids, everybody is going to be in heaven. Are you sure of that? Because if not, this is the time to start thinking about it. This is the time to give it some serious thought. This is the time to want to know if something happens to you, your brother, your mother, your child, your loved one. Are they saved? Have you accepted Jesus as your faith? Do you believe that he died and rose again the third day? Something to think about. I would hope that each and every one of you that is listening to my voice is sure that he died today, that you be with our Father in heaven. If you are not sure, I implore to get to the nearest church, or even you can just get to the scripture and accept Him as your Savior. Romans 10 and 9. Say those words, and you have accepted Him. You are you've been inducted into the kingdom, and you are His child. He is going to return. He's gonna come back. He's gonna come back.
Black Horse Church and all who's ready is who's going. If you're not ready, then you're gonna be left to the, uh, you know, the prince of the air, you know. And I don't think he likes you. He doesn't have your best interest at heart. You can't be a parent, a father, a mother, a grandmother, a lover of anyone and not want them to be saved, not want them to be where you're going. Just something to think about. Just something to think about. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me some feedback. Let me know. Let me know you are ready. Let me know if he comes back tomorrow, you're going right with him. Until the next time, this your girl Ray. This is Hidden Agendas. And don't let the enemy get you caught up in his lies and deceit. And you not go with your father in heaven. Bye-bye.